back in the 90s, a movie came out called Independence Day. Uh, this movie uh, had a lot of characters, great story, a lot of heart. Uh, it took its time telling the story that needed to be told. It was kind of an uh, Aliens disaster movie for us. Uh, you know, <laughs> for years we wanted a sequel to this movie, and, you know, people would talk about it. You know, it would be whispered, oh, it's going to be an, an, a sequel to Independence Day. And we would all be like, oh, really? You know, we would all, you know, clamor to, you know, is it going to happen? And it never happened. Um, then we finally got it. Independence Day Resurgence. Uh, we saw a trailer to it and we all, you know, oh, it's finally happening. We all got excited. This movie's not any good. Um, at least not in my opinion. Um, I got back from seeing it. Uh, this movie suffers from a lot of uh, fluff, uh, in my opinion. Um, they go for bigger, better, um, and it doesn't really go for anything that was redeeming the, in the first one. Um, in the first one, what I really loved about it was, uh, you know, it had all the characters, um, and it took its time telling the story. And when you lost a character, um, you know, it meant something. When, you, when, when a character died, you know, you felt that sadness. You, you felt, you know, that sense of loss. In this movie, when you when you lose a character, you know, or you know something happens to one of them, or you know whatever, you don't really give a shit about anything. Um, like I don't really feel connected to any of the characters. Uh, this is the one movie that I feel like Will Smith should have been in it, and I understand that he probably wasn't in it because of the Suicide Squad. But this is the one movie where you know he probably should have been in it. Um, at least in some regard, uh, but they they crammed in all the other actors that um, were in you know Independence Day, <laughs> you know the first one. Um, it, but to me, they they all kind of felt tired and 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 kind of sad. Uh, they even felt you know they even shoehorned in Brent Spiner, but to me, I felt like it was kind of lazy writing. Um, you know, in the first one, you know, it was it was very apparent that you know he was dead. But in this one, he, you know, he was uh, in a coma. And to me, I was kind of like, what? <laughs> you know, and, and I love Brent Spiner, don't get me wrong. But to me, I, I was just like, that that's kind of lazy writing. Um, and and a, a lot of the a lot of the ways that they, they bring in the characters like that, it's just it's kind of like. What? <laughs> um, you know, a lot of sequels, you know, they they they, they kind of shoehorn stuff in like that um you know I, I won't go into too many spoilers because i know a lot of people don't want that uh so i won't i won't do that but going into this movie uh it's just it felt really cheap um it felt like a lot of the movie was spent on on budget you know we gotta go bigger you know like and, and the alien ship you know was was bigger <laughs> you know um but bigger doesn't always mean better and i think they kind of missed that mark one of the things that was good about the first independence day was was the fact that uh you know the alien ships you know were kind of scattered throughout all the different cities you know it was you know it was in essence a disaster movie um and with this it was just oh we, we gotta have a bigger alien ship we you know, bigger means better and let's you know let's just and, and, and I don't think they really understood what made the first Independence Day so good. Um, again, they, they, they had a story, you know, about what took place 10 years, you know, uh, in Africa. And to me, I was like, well, that's that's a much more interesting story than what we're getting here. <laughs> you know, let's let's tell that story. But we didn't get that. Um, you know, it wasn't covered. Um, you know, again, they, they just... <laughs> it was just, I, I just, uh, for, for the, you know, for, for as many years as we were clamoring for a sequel and, and this is what they gave us, it was just, it was such a disappointment. Um, the, the, this generation that we got, you know, for people who, you know, barely remember Independence Day, you know, um, the, you know, it, it's just, I didn't connect with any of those characters. Um, and it felt like this movie was just set up for the next movie. Which again, I, I really hate that, you know, um, you know, this felt like very much like filler. And again, I hate that, you know, I mean, I don't mind spending my money on a movie, but um, when you feel like you're just sitting there, 
and you're just kind of passing the time for the next movie it's like really you know um so again you know it's like when you're sitting there and you're you can't connect with any of the characters from the previous movie and then the characters they do introduce in this movie you don't connect with it's just like uh and then <laughs> the plots and the things they bring into this movie it's like don't work you know, and the budget, it's like, you know, for having as big a budget, it's like none of the stuff really meshed. Um, all the stuff that they had, you know, because our technology was kind of a mesh of alien technology because the stuff that we had is kind of left over from, uh, you know, the last movie. So it's not our technology. It's our technology mixed with alien technology. So it was kind of confusing watching you know, the fights between us and the aliens. So it was, it was kind of a confusing mess. Um, it just, again, you know, watching this movie, it's like, I don't, I don't feel like the people who made this movie again, understood what made the last movie work, you know, because when watching the, you know, watching the last movie, I went to that movie, you know, two or three times, I think it was three times. And then when I got the v, VHS, <laughs> well, that, that dates me right there. Um, but when I got the VHS, like I watched that movie over and over and over. Um, this movie, I don't think I'll ever watch it again. I certainly wouldn't recommend it. Um, I, I just, I don't think whoever made this movie understood what made the last one work and i certainly don't think i'll be watching the next one um it's just this movie was a mess all over so i'm yeah if you are <laughs> if you go see this movie you know i ugh, this movie was not good so yeah i don't know um yeah i don't know let me know your opinion guys but uh keep on geeking on